And without further ado, Jim, take it Good away. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for inviting me. Um, I'm your regional sales manager. So in the normal time, I would be the person who could come and visit you on site at your school or library. Um, so that's my role is to kind of help uh, you understand what EBSCO offers. Uh, we have a number of Badger Link databases and such. But what we're going to talk about today is our new program from Ice House Learning, which is our entrepreneurial learning initiative. And it's a mindset training course. So EBSCO has a number of different library resources to support entrepreneurs in your community. Um, the one we're talking about today is Eli, but we also have Axel 5, Business Source Premier, which is actually available through BadgerLink for free, Entrepreneurial Studies Source, Legal Information Reference Center, Small Business Reference Center, and Reference USA. So this space really isn't too new to us, but what we're working on doing is kind of changing the idea of what a typical entrepreneur might look like. So just in your mind, you can kind of think about these entrepreneurs that have made it big. But honestly, in your community, there's a number of entrepreneurs also. And they usually are people just like ourselves that are kind of thinking about an idea and saying, boy, it'd be really nice if I could start that type of business and see if I could make it a go. So, at the library level, at your school, you could always promote an entrepreneurial mindset. Um, it's just the idea of how do you even start something like that. And that's what this coursework is all about. So in May of 2019, we actually held a webinar with the library journal that drew more than 400 registrants and over 200 attendees. Um, and what we did is we kind of asked where libraries stood in supporting the economic development of entrepreneurs. And it was kind of interesting to find out exactly what they had said. Um, for most, it was in their top three, and for some, it was actually something they're experiencing. Um, so they were actively exploring that. And when we asked, how would you describe your current position? Um, everybody wanted to improve it and even a number were like we'd love to do it but we're on the sideline so that's what we had talked about the different roadblocks for that type of situation and a number of them member of the libraries said it's just really the lack of expertise but also in, insufficient staff to carry this out so that's what we really focused on in an entrepreneurial mindset this is before the nuts and bolts of what most people think about when they're talking about starting their own business. So it's before the business plan, before going to banks and finding out. It really is that idea of how to get your mind in the right place to start something like this. So in the course overview, what we do is we help you and your patrons recognize the opportunities that others overlook how to master the art of bootstrapping, which is, okay, you might have to use your own cash. How can I make that go the farthest? Successful networking and things like that. So just really about the mindset that goes into starting a business. And we're working with Eli, which is part of the Ice House Entrepreneurship Program, which works with universities and the nice thing is it's non-Silicon Valley, so it's not just a trust fund of those high-tech companies that have already done this. So it comes in a series of modules. There's eight different modules. But when I talked about Duncan, St Duncan Smith, who's the founder of Novelist, he wanted to really be here to kind of promote it himself, but he sent me this video. Did you see the video yet or not? We're not seeing the video, Jim. Um, try your screen share again to the new, new share. How about now? There we go.
can't hear him. Um, are you, you're not, a, you're just on your regular mic, correct? Correct. Um, try one more time with the, um, you know, where you choose whether you're going through a microphone or um, headset. Fair enough. Can't can't hear Duncan like we did before. Hmm. Can you hear him a little bit, or is it not at all? Because what I'll do is I'll just walk. Not at. Not at all. Okay. And you're and you can hear it through your. You're ha you're you're just playing it right off of your computer, correct? No headphones, no nothing. Yep. Well, I'll just walk through his videos, um, kind of understand what each of the slides is talking about. Even though he does a much better job, it really is introducing what the course looks like. So as we take a look, these are what the modules look like. If you would try a trial, or if you would kind of go through recognizing the opportunities. What's nice is it is self-paced. So you are able to log in to your account and take each of these. Really also very nice is the fact that you have a chance for reflection and there's actual action items that go along. So you can spend as much time in each of the modules as necessary to make sure that you've mastered skills in that area. What's also nice is at the beginning of each introduction, they pick a person to work with in those environments, very much like Don Hathaker here. Don was a American veteran who had actually been hurt when she was on tour. And then what she was able to do is bring her ideas back with her when she was looking for an, a job. So when she was in Iraq, she actually lost an arm. Came up with ideas that would help the technology solutions for government and say, you know what, these are some of the different programs and different ideas that I have. And she brought those ideas back and was able to see by the slide, start a company that now has over 400 employees with an annual revenue. So if we had more people yes. in our communities like Dawn, then you would be able to have ownership self-directed, action-oriented, and engaged individuals that see problems as opportunities. So that's really the training that these particular modules and this program. Hey, Jim, you're fading in and out. Um, we're getting about half of, the, half of the words that you're saying. Huh, okay. Wonder if it's because of the audio interfering with Um, you might want to shut the audio off that I, it looks like it's still running on Duncan's. Um, okay. So here are the four different areas that libraries can interact with our Eli mindset training. So on a level one level, you actually work with and promote through EBSCO's customizable launch kit. At a level two, you're able to have the expertise to work with local entrepreneurs, generating interest in the program. At a level three, you can actually work with partners in your community to encourage them to promote it with their members. So Chamber of Commerce or those type of organizations. 
And at a level four, you would have champions within your library that would help staff develop additional staff. And it's been very successful in Albuquerque. We also have as part of our promotion, a launch kit that goes along with the Eli training kit. So there's handouts, the posters, bookmarks, and social media tiles. So at this point, I'm going to stop sharing and open a new share. So again, these are the eight, but what the course content really allows is video case studies. So we would work with people like Dawn and Qualisha to tell their stories and their experiences. We'd have action items for each of the modules, as you can see from the screenshot, that help you really understand and master those skills. It also has points to ponder, so assignments designed to encourage and additional resources, a whole list of different um, either ebooks or exploration exercises that come with each of the content modules also. Um, a number of you all have Library Aware, which also is a novelist product, but it does have a number of already made things. Oh. And according to you know, the small business development centers that are in 62% of millennials say that they would like to have a dream business of their own. And 41% would quit their jobs right now. But within the current pandemic situation, there's a number of folks that we could actually help to start their new careers as they're looking into the current financial situation. So with that, um, I'll just open it up for questions. Thank you, Jim. Does anybody have any questions for Jim? I guess I, I have a question, Jim. Um, is this available? Um, is, is the Eli available for trials or if people are interested, um, they can obviously get in touch with you. Um, but will you be offering anything post um, post webinar for interested people? Excellent question. Yes, you can definitely trial the, uh, the Eli program, if you would like, set up a 30 day trial. Um, typically what we like to do is just kind of, again, walk you through some of the modules so you understand, you know, what's available in the content. But just by emailing me at jjacobson at ebsco.com, you can definitely try that out for yourself. Okay, great. Thank you so much for being here with